بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سینٹینشیل سیمینٹکس سنس وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ڈکشنری میننگ وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ میننگس وچ ریزائڈ ان اور مائنڈ وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ سو مینی ادر ایسپیکٹس آف سیمینٹکس ناؤ اٹ از ٹائم دیٹ وی شوڈ ڈسکس دی میننگس آف اے سینٹینس So again, we will have to study the meaning of each and every word which is there in the sentence. We will have to divide the sentence to see that what is its composition, how the sentence is made up of. And we should remember that in semantics, VP, verb phrase, so far as the syntactic structure of the sentence is concerned is very important because verb phrase will help us to determine that what can come in the beginning of the verb phrase that is the np or after the verb phrase that is another np for example sometimes the sentences may be syntactically correct but semantically they are not correct so something which is not semantically correct is not grammar you must have read in your syntax class that grammar is the name of three to four things for example phonology morphology syntax and semantics if these four things are there then it is grammatical it is grammar then that sentence is grammatically correct otherwise it is not grammatically correct therefore it's very important that we should look at the composition of the sentence and before we move on we should differentiate between utterance and sentence now what is an utterance any stretch of talk by one person before and after which there is silence on the part of that person is called an utterance meaning it means that as soon as there is some pause so that is an utterance any stretch of talk by one person and before and after which there is silence there is pause on the part of that person that is called utterance utterance is one word it can be a phrase and it can be a sentence and even it can be a more than a sentence so it depends that how long a person can speak in one breath so gosh god damn it there there are always you know pauses after that so that is utterance these days you will find that uh you know utterances they are produced on a piece of paper if you are reading any drama so you will come across that the authors they give the utterance of the person on the piece of paper like damn it and then there is sign of exclamation which shows that this is an utterance so sentence on the other hand you know it should have complete meaning it should have proper composition it should have subject verb and sometimes even object or sometimes two objects or sometimes a complement so when you divide the sentence into its parts and you try to understand the descriptive meaning of each and every word which is there in the dictionary which is there in the mind of a person and you accumulate their meanings and then you try to understand the context of utterance that where this sentence has been spoken by whom this sentence has been spoken to whom this sentence has been spoken we will be able to understand the sentence meaning as well previously as i have just told you that verb phrase plays a very important role it is a key for example the word fly birds fly it's okay it's a complete sentence it does not need any other object after that birds fly yes we know birds fly 
but if we say ali flies now the meaning is not clear because our mind cannot expect uh, accept that ali can fly so ali flies a kite ali flies an aeroplane so here the verb fly it is working as a transitive verb which requires an object after that now coming back to the same sentence if you remember when i was talking about defining semantics and giving you the introduction of semantics so we have read a sentence and the context was that mary she gave her car to her daughter sheila when sheila comes back she looks upset mary asks her what happened to you and she says the dog has ruined my skirt the dog has ruined my skirt and we have discussed that this sentence has got five reference five the dog where the is the determiner telling us that the speaker and the hearer they know that which dog they are talking about and it is their dog who lives in their home and his name is ken but sheila because she is angry she is not taking his name so she is saying the dog has ruined my skirt so np the dog has ruined perfect tense and ruin is the main verb and ed is the third form which is telling us that because of has or have this ed is added it is referring to time and event which happened in the past and it has effect on them that is why sheila is angry she is upset she is not behaving well my blue skirt so my is referring back to the speaker that is sheila and blue is referring to skirt and skirt we know that a piece of cloth that women wear round their body so it has got five reference and these reference are there in the world we can find their representation in the world then sheila believes that she is telling the truth and mary also believes that sheila has told her the truth so this sentence has got reference it has got context of utterance it has got that who is speaking to whom and time is determined that they are talking about some past event so we can easily understand that this sentence has got a truth value okay and this sentence has got a proposition as well i give you some more example john gave mary a book this is one proposition mary was given a book by john isabel loves tony tony loves isabel so the these are two propositions and they correspond to facts in the ordinary sense of the word fact remember false propositions they do not correspond to facts when there are no reference there is no truth value when there are reference it means that there is truth value it means that sheila she is telling the truth to her mother mary mary knows that sheila is telling the truth and they believe each other later on we will talk about grice maxims that is when somebody speaks somebody should tell the truth so later on we will talk about it in detail so in sentence semantics we look at the kind of proposition which is there in the sentence ali loves humaira humaira loves ali these are two different things they are not the one and same thing we should remember because ali loves humaira it does not mean that humaira loves ali and humaira loves ali it does not mean that ali loves humaira so we need to understand that these two are two different propositions and when sentence is spoken in the context of utterance and reference are there its representation is there in the word it has got a truth value 
so we should move forward and we should also remember that sentences they have got different elements that is np vp or np and there is syntactic rules there are syntactic rules which are involved and on the basis of those syntactic rules you know sentence is produced and then sentence has got meanings it has got truth value it has got entailment as well we should remember what is entailment when i say that logic is involved here we should remember that logic is involved here it is friday today so of course when i say it is friday today it means that it is not thursday it means that it is not monday when we say ahmed is alive it means that ahmed is not dead but when i say i have got a blue shirt entailment will be i have got a shirt but i have got a shirt does not mean that i have got a blue shirt i have got a blue shirt its entailment can be i have got a shirt but i have got a shirt does not mean that i have got a blue shirt so it is friday today it means that it is not monday it is not tuesday it's not wednesday so we need to differentiate between you know truth conditions entailment and reference i explain again the concept of utterance i told you that utterance is any stretch of talk spoken by the person after which or before which there is some pause so utterance can be loud or quiet utterance can be loud or quiet but sentence cannot be loud or quiet sentence is usually written on a piece of paper utterance can be grammatical or ungrammatical but sentence is only grammatical utterance can be true or false and sentence can also be true or false and sentence can also have proposition that is true or false utterance is usually in a regional ac uh, accent but sentence is not in a regional accent so these are some differences between utterances and sentences so we should remember that i have talked about in sentence the syntactic rules are there which help us to understand that how sentence is produced in the very first place and we know that sentence is produced where verb phrase plays a very important role it helps us to determine that what can come in the beginning of the sentence what can be the noun phrase what can be the another noun phrase which is going to come after the verb phrase ali flies a kite ali flies a car is wrong because our mind is not going to accept that ali can fly a car or a car can fly so something which is ungrammatical is not a sentence is not grammar but it could be an utterance we should remember so we need to understand the meanings of each and every item which is there in the sentence we need to understand that what are their represent what are their representations in the world what they are referring to who are the referents what is the truth value what is the proposition and then we try to understand the meaning of the sentence thank you very much